going on people? Welcome to the road trip. Manchester United taking on Leeds. Before you say in the comments, is there something a little bit different about Flack? Yeah, he's got glasses on. Tell you what, mate, I'm not going to lie to you. I was getting bad headaches. The headaches were headaching. Um, and I was supposed to be wearing glasses from a long time ago. So look after your eyes. You only get one set. So I've got my driving glasses on. I can see much better. Safety is paramount. All of that. So, um, yeah, big up all the comments are going to be like, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, four eyes and uh, all them old school things. But no, big up, man. I've got my glasses on. I can see in 8K now. You know what I mean? You only get the new glasses and you're like, bro, is this what life actually looks like? So I'm in that mode now. But anyway, it is the road trip. I'm here with Marcel. Marcel, we saying? Afternoon, bro. Afternoon. Afternoon, community. Uh -huh. How you been? Hey, guys, you know what? This is Marcel's first game in the box, you know? He's going to the box. I'm saying Flex is taking his son to the box. Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited, bro, man. I I've never been... It's good to see both sides, like we were saying before. It's good to see both sides of, of, of you know, football and, and experience and the whole exp the football experience. So, it'll be good today. Jeez, Marcel, box life, you know. See that? He's changing, you know? Got to talk to him differently. See how he's changing up? Man's coming to the game all dressed up nice, going to the <laughs> box and that. Watch after the game. We can't, where's Marcel? We just need to do the fan views and that. Man's up there in hospitality. Not going to be able to see, you know what I mean? See, you see, Marcel, you see? But yeah, anyway, um, so we'll have some behind the scenes footage from that for you guys as well and some YouTube shorts. So make sure you guys check out that to document Marcel's first time in the box, you know what I mean? Um, but Man United versus Leeds, man. Listen, they ain't got a manager. Hold tight, Chris Armas. Um, one of a few looking after Leeds at the moment, Ralph Ragnitz boy. But I want more misery for Leeds. Do you know what I'm saying? We need to go and stick the boot in and, and compound their misery um, and, and keep our good run going at home. What are we looking for? 14 wins in a row at Old Trafford? Fortress. Fortress. 14 wins in a row in all competitions at Old Trafford, which is unreal. Ten Hag is Ten Hag in, and Old Trafford. Is, um, is a fortress again. We were just talking about it. It's the biggest talking point, isn't it? It won't go away. Um, just what does Ten Hag do in terms of Sabitza and Sancho? Yeah. Because Sabitza, we were saying, has to start. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't even see how we can't start because let's, let's try and create a scenario where Sabitza doesn't start. What would that look like? Wow. Ganacho yeah. on the right and Bruno. What would, no, what would it look like? There's only, that would, because that would only leave one central midfielder. Yeah, so what, Bruno next to him, next to Fred. Yeah, Sancho in the 10, Ganacho in the right, yeah. on the right. That would never happen. Yeah. He, uh, Ten Hag's not going to do that. Yeah. Um, watch him do it now. But um, no, nah, he, he's not, he's not going to do that. I think Sabitza definitely starts next to Fred, Bruno in the 10. And I think probably, well, it's out of Sancho and Ganacho to start on the right. And Ganacho hasn't spent much time on the right. Yeah. Or does he put Rashi on the right, just because he doesn't think Jaden's quite ready yet, and put Ganacho on the left? What do you think? Who 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 is the best and the right out of Rashford and Ganacho? That's a question. I mean, you That's know, we've we, we've seen Ganacho play in the in the preseason friendlies just after the World Cup period. Didn't look too great on the right hand side for the, the little cameos mm -hmm. that he had there. And then we've seen Rashi in general play on the right and is not as prolific as he is on the left. He's a man massively in form on the left. You know, one of the Premier League's best right now in that position. I think you got to keep him there. So then you're looking at Sancho, who's had good synergy with the low in pre-season at the beginning of pre-season on the right. So mm -hmm. I think that might even be Sancho's position. That's a good question as well. Like, what, what, on the right? Yeah, what mm -hmm. is his position? On the right, in the 10, on the left, where does he end up developing, being a, a, a big part of our team? Yeah, is it which well, position? The, I, I think the, question, the answer to that is probably going to, for the foreseeable anyway, it's got to be the right-hand side. I think he's going to spend most of his time on the right-hand side coming back into the squad because, well, all the 10, all the 10, but, you know, Bruno's on fire or doing well, doing yeah. better. Um, Rashford is Rashford yeah. <laughs> right now, yeah. doing his best work from the left. I think Rashford is the most adaptable out of all of them. He can play across the front three and actually when he has spent time on the right, to be fair to him, he's still contributed. Um, but I, th I think you're right. I think Ten Hag will want to keep as much consistency throughout the squad that has to change as possible. And that consistency will be keeping Marcus Rashford on the left. But it, what, what the problem is, is if Jaden... Again, we want Jaden to come back, in it. We uh, want him to start. We want him to... Ten Hag knows this. We know Ten Hag. There's a yellow card. Um, <laughs> I wasn't even part of it, but I know what you know what's talking about. Um, what was I going to say? But yeah, we want him to come back. But what we've seen with Ten Hag is he don't rush players. Like if, if especially with this Jane Sancho situation where he's been away for a long time, if he don't think he's ready, Jaden ain't starting. Yeah. It doesn't matter. He'll rather rather start, find another solution. So what we could see is Rashi playing off the right, yeah. and Ganacho starting on the left. Um, 
and then see how it goes and then bring Jaden in later. Or if not that, then um, bringing in, uh, bringing in uh, Sancho from the start on the right hand side with, with Rashi on the left and then see how it goes. And then later on during the game. 50, 60 minutes. Yeah, because it's going to be hard for Sancho to play 90 minutes. He's only played, he's only, let's, let's not forget, he's only played, what, 15 minutes exactly. against, yeah. if that, against Forrest. Yeah. And the way the game went against Palace, he couldn't get involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So really, Sancho's still massively behind match fitness. He's been training, but he's got no match fitness. Yeah. So he ain't going to be able to play 90 anyway. Um, so I would, me personally, I want to see Sancho start on a, on a, on a supported thing. Start him, then take him off on like 65th minute, 70th, whatever, see how the game's going. But I don't know, I just think Ten Hag, I think Ten Hag will go with the legs. So I've got a feeling, and then if it comes down to the legs and who's being fit and ready to go, it'll probably be Ganacho. And Ganacho is best off the left. He wants to, you know, get him used to playing off the left. We might see Rashford on the right. What do you reckon? Um, it's good points. It's good points. I think Rashford being the more senior player as well, I just thought all round better pro. I think does you know more damage for us on the right than yeah. Ganacho does. So I agree with you wholeheartedly in that sense. Um, Sabitzer, Mike, how excited are you? Oh, Marcel Sabitzer. You know, oh, my oh, name's. Oh, 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 he's just talking about himself. <laughs> no, no, my name's. <laughs> he's sake. like Marcel. Like, oh, no, my name's sick. My name's sick. I'm gassed. I'm gassed. Um, we've got another Marcel, you know, to do yeah. with the, the great club. Um, he was very busy. You know, his little cameo was extremely busy. He looked very dynamic wanted to do a lot of creative you know passing and connecting the play so looks like he's got the technical ability above Fred's level which is what we need you miss that and when Ericsson leaves the side I think you lose a lot of technical he's ability. also got the heart of Fred though and yeah. can get and legs of Fred and get yeah. that pitch it really, it really is a good balance you know and, and you know I'm looking forward to seeing if he can contribute and see if he's at an outstanding level you know we need a good partner alongside Casemiro that's just got that high quality level um, and I think definitely um, Sabitz is one of those um, what do you think about it being psychologically, you know, back-to-back -back games against Leeds? One at home, one away. Do you think that, and, and their caretaker manager is, you know, a person that knows our players quite well. So do you think that kind of goes against us this game on, and these couple of games? No, I don't, I don't think it, like, let's face it, this Man United and the Man United that Chris Armas was involved in, they're, they're two different football clubs. Yeah. <laughs> Not even two different teams, they're like two different football clubs. Like, yeah, yeah. from top to bottom, it's different. Um, so that has no bearing. Uh, yeah, little things that we're not privy to, like oh, I know Rashford favours this because I've seen him in training and I spoke to him about this before. That don't, that's not going to influence the game, in my opinion. Mm. Um, I, I think Leeds. I think we win this game, but Leeds. I think they're going to just do what they always do. They always run around. They always play with high energy. They're not going to. I don't think they're going to be able to within a couple of days just abandon all of their what they've done under Jesse Marsh you know yeah. especially when there's no new manager there and they had no time to work with a new manager do you know what I mean yeah. um so yeah I, I think I think I I think it'll be the same and I think we dispatch of them quite easily because of it do you know what I'm saying Leeds let's Leeds are not a good team yeah. that's why they're joined uh you know in the relegation zone what are they 17th I think something like that I think they're 17th so uh, there's a reason why they've sacked their manager and there's a reason why they're at the bottom of the table but, you know, they, they can be a dangerous team. You know, they can be a team that if you allow them into the game and, you, and it's frantic and it's end-to-end, -end, it's probably a game that they like. Uh -huh. But they, they can see the whole load of chances and they can see too many goals. That's why they're in the position they're in. And, let's, and, and we've been slapping leads up yeah, home, uh, at home. You know what I mean? Especially at home. Yeah. Remember, there was like a 6-2 one of them and then a 5-1 yeah. yeah. the other one, I think, the opening day of the season one time. And Pogba got like four assists in one game. Yeah, that was the season before last, or was that yeah. the beginning of last season? I can't remember. But we always beat them. Um, and then once in COVID, yeah, slapped them up 6 2 or whatever it was. So the, the two times that they've been in the league, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think that has any bearing. Don't get me wrong, the second game at Ellen Road, yeah. bit of a different story. We'll get to that. But I think tonight will be, will be okay. Score prediction? Uh, um, I always give a goal to the opponent for some reason of late, but I want to go. 3-0, a nice comfortable 3-0. It we, we, always takes us for the... Recently, it's been second half where the goals come into it. 0-0 first half, quite, you know, tentative in the first half. And then the second half, we've got enough to see it through. But because it's going to be, you know, high pressing from Leeds, I'm expecting open game of football. We've got the counter-attack in DNA. A couple, you know, 2-0 before half time sounds good to me. And then go on to, to finish it off 3-0. So, yeah, 3-0. OK, yeah, uh, I'm going to go with... Or two, no. I'm gonna go with two nil. 
I don't think we'll we'll smash them from minute one to the end, but we don't do that with any team, to yeah. be fair. We always have those periods. But I feel like there'll be moments where Leeds are battling and it's a bit, you know, end to endish, but then essentially like we'll get them on the break or they'll open we'll open them up with one chance and then we'll we'll, we'll see the game out. So yeah, I'm I'm going to go two 0 So that's our prediction. Smash the like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Remember, okay, um to download the circle app. Um, football's newest sweepstake game. Get involved with KG and the guys um, on the match view. Make sure you keep them company on the match view, but they're going to be playing this game. Um, it's really, really fun, really easy to play. You only have a minimum of £3 to play. Um, and KG and I, there will be a video that will explain all. Um, but I'm telling you to get ready. You know, download the app. The link is in the video description. I'll put a QR code. There's a, there's a QR code there right now. Scan the QR code, download the app, and all will be revealed. Um, on the match week when KG takes over and the guys in the studio. It's a really, really fun way. In short, in real, real short, it's basically being able to win a little bit of money um, and yes. having uh, having the bragging rights. Uh, it starts in these little circles and basically the circle moves depending on what happens during the game, i.e. red cards, yellow cards, goals, offsides, corners, etc., etc. And as it moves, whoever's at the top of the circle by the end of the game um, wins the jackpot. It is that simple, but all will be revealed more um, in the match week. So make sure you guys tune into that and we will have more reaction for you as usual at Old Trafford as well. I'm looking forward to it, actually. I'm happy to be back. Nice game to come back to as well. Yeah. And me and Marcel are in the box. Yes. Me and Marcel are in the box. So I will document Marcel's time as a proud father yes. of what Marcel is like in the box. Yes, and hopefully he won't be drunk or anything like that. Because no. uh, everything is... Uh, you know what I mean? I have a couple all, though. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. You go, mate. You go, 100%. I will not be because I'm driving. Um, so <laughs> what is that? Responsible father. Responsible father. You know what? I've got glasses on. Glasses. I'm not You know what? what? I'm not going to lie, fam. <laughs> You're giving me Jürgen Fleck right now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. And drop a uh, view in the comments. Yeah, well. Are the glasses a disgrace and a cheat and I'm better off just driving uh, when I can't see properly? Or uh, am I doing all right with the glasses? Yeah, let me know. Peace.